Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Tato, back again with the recipes that make you want to cook. On today's video, we are making this delicious lamb curry and dumplings. Stay tuned. <music> Let's get started guys and as usual I will leave all the ingredients in the description box down below. Now first of all we're going to start by fermenting our yeast to make our dough for the dumplings. Now you want to go ahead and put one packet of yeast in your bowl and go ahead and put two cups of warm water. Be careful not to burn your yeast guys, warm water and one tablespoon of yeast if you're able to put your finger for at least 10 seconds in the water then you know it's good it's not gonna kill your yeast then you're gonna set that aside for five minutes to let the yeast ferment and then in another bowl you're gonna add five cups of flour and one teaspoon of salt and two handfuls of freshly chopped coriander now because we are making curry and curries are really great with um coriander i thought why not add the coriander into the dumplings you know so yes after about five minutes the yeast is good just once it starts smelling a little bit sour you know that it's great and then we're gonna add about four to five tablespoons of oil Now the oil is up to you guys, you can add as much as you want, it's going to give the dough a very soft texture, very light, very, you know, it gives it that thing. So you want to go ahead and make mix your dough, just make sure that you incorporate it very well. I also added a little bit extra of water, about 2 tablespoons, just because I found that the dough was a little bit dry but that's just according to you I, I suggest that after it just comes together with your spoon go ahead and mix it with your hand that way you can be able to feel the moisture of the flour and what it needs what it does not need you know so I went ahead and added two tablespoons of water and I'm gonna continue incorporating the flour just until it comes together and then you want to go ahead and set it on the counter for like 10 minutes to rest remember guys every time you work with flour you want to let it rest so here it is i'm gonna let it rest on the counter uncovered of course and we're gonna come back and pat it down and start kneading our dough to develop our gluten now you can go ahead and knead your dough on the surface guys I hate cleaning up so yeah I always do it in the dish it is a little, a little bit difficult to knead in the dish but okay it's clean <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit of oil into my bowl just so when the dough is rising and doubles in size it's gonna get a little bit stickier we don't want to stick to the bowl so it's easier to mold and remove from the bowl and you're gonna set it aside to rise now you want to go ahead and make your dough before preparing your meat so that by the time you're done with your meat and then the dough is done now you're gonna go ahead and season your lamb with some salt and pepper and then you're going to brown it now i did not add any oil to the pan because to the pot sorry because guys lamb has a lot of fat and you really don't want a bath of oil okay so just make sure that you're frying on very high heat so that the fat can be quickly rendered and it's not gonna stick really as you can see i don't know if you can see at the side of the pot the fat is coming out is rendering out of the the the, the, the meat so yeah you really don't need oil unless you really want a bath of oil and like also guys can we talk about these strips of fat these people when they pack meat i'm sorry okay to everybody or anyone who's watching this and they pack the meat but why do you do this guys on top when you see <clears throat> the meat on the shelf it's nice it's gorgeous 
But then when you get home and you open and underneath is just layers of fat. What is up with that? What is up with that? Anyways, in the same pot, you're going to add two medium onions. Guys, I love onions, so I always cook with a lot of onion. If you don't, just <laughs> reduce the amount. I love onion. And then I'm going to add two heaped spoons of my crushed garlic and ginger. You know, guys, onion, ginger, and garlic are the basics in this house. Please, please. If the dish has that and salt, honey, we are good to go. Now you just want to saute your onions until the pot has deglazed and translucent. And then we're going to make a little well in the middle of the pot. That's where we're going to cook our spices. For spices, we're going to start with about two and a half teaspoons of your curry powder. Um... I might have added a little bit more because it was done, you know, I was like, okay, what the heck, let me just finish it all. You want to go ahead and add one teaspoon of your turmeric and then one and a half teaspoons of your ground coriander and one teaspoon of ground cumin. I did add a little bit of oil because the spices needed a little bit of oil because as you can see they were sticking to the pot guys my aim was to use less oil oil is expensive please so I was happy that the meat didn't really need oil and I didn't have to add that much oil in the dish honestly and I was happy you know so because the pot was burning a little bit I added about three tablespoons of water just to de deglaze the pot because I want to cook my spices before I add the meat. Now I did add two teaspoons of my mutton masala. I'm going to also add two teaspoons of my curry paste. I didn't want to add a lot of curry paste because it's very overwhelming. It's very rich in flavor. And if you add too much, it's just going to take over everything. And you want that build of layers, right? Also add a another tablespoon of water just to cook that for another 30 seconds guys and then we're gonna put back our meat into the pot now lamb doesn't take a long time to cook that's the reason why i wanted to cook the spices off so that by the time i add into the meat the spices are cooked and they are aromatic and they are beautiful the flavors have developed and deepened and 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 all those beautiful flavors guys so this does not take a long i know we made the dough but this this doesn't take a long time because lamb cooks fairly quickly i'm gonna add uh, my stock the vegetable stock and my chicken stock the reason i did that because i only had one of the the vegetable stock left and i also had other chicken stock so you can use just one kind i'm also gonna add about one teaspoon and a half of rosemary and some salt again please be generous with salt guys because this dish doesn't have that many um salted spices as you saw that we use very organic and whole spices so salt will just kind of bring everything together and highlight all those aromatics that we just built together so please don't be stingy with salt add salt not too much because you kind of keep tasting but make sure the salt okay otherwise you're just gonna smell there are there's flavors in there but you can't really taste them so no, don't be shy. Don't be shy. You can go ahead and add your potatoes. Now, I only added potatoes. You can add potatoes. You can add carrots, green peas, any vegetables that you want. And then I'm also going to add some water. I think I added about four cups of water just to almost cover the meat so that it can cook. And also bear in mind that you're also going to add the dumplings and the dumplings need a little bit of moisture so that they can cook and suck up those juices that's the point guys you know me by now if the meal is a one pot meal kind of dish honey i'm for it i'm for it now after adding the water you want to go ahead and let it simmer for 10 minutes 
uncovered and then after 10 minutes please go ahead and test your salt again so that you know by the time everything is cooked then you don't need any salt i'm gonna go ahead and make some little bowls and add it into the top of the pot and there it is guys just make the balls as little or huge as you you can according to the pot as you can see my pot was a little bit of small so i had to make medium sized balls if not small and then you're gonna let it simmer for another 20 to 30 minutes i think i did simmer about 30 minutes because i did want to make extra sure that the dumplings were really cooked but after 20 minutes just keep checking it just che keep checking them take out one and slice it through and see if it's done through and everything is cooked guys lamb doesn't take a long time so just let it simmer 10 minutes and then add your your dumplings and then your potatoes are just gonna cook off while the dumplings are also cooking and that is how it looks guys it is so delicious the aroma the aroma just can i tell you that i was salivating the whole time the whole time oh honey plus it's winter guys this meal is very hearty it's very warm and this winter seems like there's gonna be a lot of rain hey so yeah on that rainy day make some as you can see the potatoes are tender and nicely cooked and so gorgeous one pot that's all you need let's plate it up and enjoy guys this dish oh babe oh babe <laughs> that is the video guys that is the recipe i hope you do try it please leave a comment down below show me some love and i'll show you back some love give this video a like if you enjoyed it please share with your friends and your family subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you on the next one